I remember exactly where I was. I was driving in my car and the radio was on. And I heard this man say, how would you like to make 25% on your money? And I was like, oh yes! You know, I was really excited about that. And it turns out it was Larry Burkett. And he said, stop using your credit cards. And I thought, that is true because one of the credit cards I had, had was 29%, 29.9%. Um, interest rate and I had already maxed that card out so it taught me from that point going forward that I really needed to understand um, how to use credit cards wisely and definitely how to be a steward. It brought me to a journey of trying to find out how to manage my money. I went through numerous and I mean you name it I went through it whether it was our church or Dave Ramsey or um, uh, you, you name it, I've done it, and I never finished any of them. And then Crown had an online program. That program allowed me to participate with people from around the world. That information that Crown had through that program taught about stewardship, and that's something I had never heard about, stewardship, that you're managing God's resources. The Money Life program happened in 2016. That was about March. And then there was a offer for the gathering. I'd never heard of the gathering, never been to the gathering. I, I knew about Crown. And so in October, I attended my first gathering. And it was just, it was just a really wonderful opportunity to meet the individuals who had been instructors on the Money Life program and meet them in person. So when I left there in October, I was pumped. In December, my doctor told me that I had been, um, that the lump that I felt was actually breast cancer. And this was the day before Christmas. For the entire year of 2017, I was on my back, flat on my bed, and the chemo had taken all of my hair it had made me very sick. I couldn't, you know, it was almost like going through COVID-19 because you couldn't taste. Um, and just the way you felt, it's just awful. Then one day I get this phone call and I pick up the phone because that's my only communication. I pick up the phone and I, I answer. And this person says, hello, Jackie, it's Chuck Bentley. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Because, you know, this man who's, who's in charge of a huge, you know, uh, ministry is calling little old me. And that just, it just cemented my love for Crown. In 2018, I said, I have all this money that I've been saving and it's enough to pay off my house. I went to the bank and I paid off my money and I walked out going, oh my gosh, I'm debt free. And then my boss called and said, guess what? You have 30 days and you will be laid off. And I said, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. You know, I've learned that God is my source. You know, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. So I'm not gonna worry. I literally said that, I'm not gonna worry about it. 24 hours later, a job that I had applied for in December of 2018 called me in May to say, hey, do you want this job? And I said, no negotiation, I'm, I'll take it. And so 24 hours after I had been notified that I would be laid off, I got a job offer that would start the day after my layoff. So God is good. I mean, and it's not just because I got this job offer, it's because he's good all the time. And I rested in him the day before, not panicked or anything. And he proved, you know, just what a wonderful source he is. After I paid off my home, I still had medical bills that were constant because you have to take maintenance drugs and you have to see the oncologist. So I am happy to report that as of July of 2020, I paid my last medical bill. So I'm truly debt free and I praise the Lord for that. If I had learned about this at a younger age, a lot of the mistakes that I made um, as a young adult, I could have avoided. So I would encourage you if you are familiar with Crown, 
to share that information with those who don't know because there's a wealth of information that will literally change someone's life if they go through the content.